My name is Bob Russell. I'm the mayor of the city of Pontiac. Uh, we're in Pontiac, Illinois, not, uh, not Pontiac, Michigan, Pontiac, Illinois, uh, right in the heart of Route 66. Uh, Pontiac is a community of 12,000 people. Uh, Route 66 had three different routes through our city over the years. Uh, the, the business, the traffic, the commerce here was, was amazing because of Route 66. Uh, the, the, the good news is uh, Route 66 was commissioned in 1926 and the Pontiac car was commissioned in 1926, first, first introduced. So we also have the Pontiac Car Museum here. But we're sitting here in the uh, Illinois Hall of Fame Museum for Route 66. When you come here, you'll see uh, booths about all of the town and all the memorabilia, all the cities in 66 from uh, Chicago to St. Louis. We have visitors so far from around the world. We know of 125 countries that have been here and I get to spend many days uh, greeting people from all over the world from countries I didn't even knew existed. And uh, that, that makes it uh, fun being mayor be because of that. But here in the 66 Museum, uh, in addition to all of the booths and the memorabilia and the gas pumps, uh, sitting right behind me is the Bob Waldmeyer uh, house, his first home on wheels, uh, the Volkswagen bus. Uh, as you know, Bob Waldmeyer was a very famous artist who lived 40 years on Route 66. Uh, he was here to paint a mural up on the wall for us, uh, came back, uh, painted on it a couple times. Uh, being a nomad, you never knew when he was going to be here, uh, back and forth, back and forth, and unfortunately didn't quite get it done, but uh, you won't have any trouble telling that it's one of Bob's uh, works. Uh, right outside the door here is Bob Waldmeyer's second home, and that is probably one of the biggest attractions on all of Route 66. Uh, Bob drove this bus up and down the highway, uh, never worked, never married. He would stop and paint and sell his paintings and was very well known. People from around the world had met him on, on the route and became very famous. And just before he died, he said, I want my bus to go to Pontiac because they have the best artwork. Well, he had come and he was an artist here himself, but we had 150 artists come here for one weekend uh, known as the Wall Dogs, and they painted that weekend alone in about two and a half days, they painted 17 large murals on our city, and they all have to do with the history of Route 66. So when visitors come here, they come through this museum, and then when they walk out the back door, they'll see the blue footsteps on the ground that go to all of our other museums, but the red footsteps go to our murals. And it's, it's a great tour. Uh, some of our murals have little ID codes on them. You can, with a smartphone, you can uh, tell what the mural's all about and get the history. And then we have a trolley that runs and does, does a trolley tour also. So the, the Bob Wallmeyer connection here has made this a favorite stop for many. Uh, you go to the second floor of this museum and you'll see a, a 1940s exhibit that will take you back in time. It's all uh, centered around the war from 1942 to 1948. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to literally step back in time when you walk into that. And then as you go a little further into the old jail cells, we're in the old city hall, uh, you go into the jail cells, you'll see photos from the entire Route 66, take, starting from Chicago going to LA. And in that, you'll see all of the famous sites that you will see as you travel 66. And, and a lot of people can't travel the whole route, but they can come here and go through our four or five rooms and they can see what they're missing <laughs> and what 66 used to look like. The Wigwam Motel and, and the Cadillac Ranch and uh, where they buried the Cadillacs in the sand. We, we just uh, love having visitors here. Uh, we just love showing off our city and showing off Route 66. And, and I, I think as the years go by, this is just going to get larger and larger and larger because so many more people overseas are finding out about it.